Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello there everyone and welcome back finally to the series we're about to kick off week 4. It's been like 3 days since I've logged in, I mean we'll see in a sec when I log in how long it's been, but it's been too long. I've not been very well. I'm sorry, thank you for everyone for being patient with me and sticking with me. I seem to be on the mend now. I feel like I'm, I feel the illness leaving my body, whatever the fuck it is. Slightly better every day, so... Hopefully, we're back to normal. This is the first time trying recording in a bit, but I'm so excited to get back to the series because it's been so weird to not play every day. But I just haven't had, like, the energy to sit in gaming mode for an hour straight. I couldn't have done it, so I'm glad I took the time off. But yeah, I'm super excited to get back into it. Let's see how long it has actually been. I think it's been about three days. Three days, one hour and 42 minutes. Holy shit. So we're gonna have to check miscellaneous as well, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, got a notification about it there. Let's get straight to the birdhouses before anything, though. And then we have so much to get through today. Get ourselves a dueling ring. So much to get through. Awkward stuff, though. We're gonna make some moves. I'm planning to try and get both the easy and medium Varrock Diary today. Not for the XP lamps, but for the Zaf staffs. There's a Hunter's level. However, we will get about 7.5k, I think, in the XP lamps. So, that's going to get stuck on agility, because I remember saying a couple weeks ago, we need to start thinking about our agility levels. Maybe I'll even go back and find it and do like a flashback thing, like actual YouTubers do, or maybe I'll just put the clip that I just said now in black and white and pretend it's a flashback. Maybe this is still the black and white clip. Who knows? Yes, that will be a nice little boost to our agility levels that will save us a lot of training there whilst going towards our other goals in this regard. Getting the staffs for some extra daily GP and to make the most out of the water orbs that we got from Perilous Moons. First up, we got the herbs left to do. Make sure I'll crack that out super quick. We will be fresh out of Renar seeds after that as well. In fact, let's get a wealth and an axe. I think we got everything. Uh, Renar seeds gone up a bit again. The weeds have gone down again. That's a shame. I missed the days where it was on a good swing. So let's have a look at the Varrock easy. Basically, buns and soft clay is all we need. I don't even know though, we've probably done like a bunch of these already, right? Wait, what am I going to the bank for? Fuck. Achievements, Pharaoh, Aubrey to Salia, second level of the stronghold. We've done Hig, Helen, Trout. I don't see Aubrey on that list, but I think I ticked most of them off that we'd done. What's that? Oh, teleport to the essence, man, that's what it was. We've done that. Okay. So we've still got quite a few to do, but they're all very, very easy, so it's all good. And then for the medium one, I don't think there's anything difficult either. There is a Soulsbane quest that we need to do. That shouldn't be too hard. We've got decent combat levels at this stage as well, so we should be able to get through it relatively okay. I also need to finish off those rubies that I was chiseling at the end of the last one. 47 Renars for the day, we will note these up at the Leprechaun here and then hop on over to a Miscellanea. Gonna also get myself some energy and chop this tree real quick, get our favour up, back up to 100%. We should have a nice, I think we've, if our approval's gone down by 6, then I think we've, we've had like 6 days? Maybe not, maybe like 5 days worth? 
We should have a nice little bit of cash here. If our approval actually rises this time. Because I remember last time it was being hella dodgy. Okay, it didn't rise. I'm going to another tree. I don't trust this tree. This tree spoke to Paul in it. I don't understand this game. Why isn't it changing? Oh, chopping faster on this one though. Do rabbits give bones? I know that's so sadistic, but... Wait, will it piss people off if I kill a rabbit? I hope it didn't just take my approval down. I needed some bones. Why do I feel like that's going to be useful for something as well? Regicide. That's why. Just in case I do regicide. Why not put a raw rabbit in my bank? Pretty sure it's regicide you need it for. Which we'll probably do because it gives it agility XP. It is loosely on my to-do list. <laughs> regicide is loosely on my to-do list. Maybe I shouldn't say that actually. I live in a monarchy. Actually no, fuck that. Say it with my chest. Regicide is on my to-do list. Should not have done that when I'm still recovering from being ill though. There we are, 100%. Fuck the king. Let's go. We got it all. Yep, looks good. How much we got? Show me the money! That is not looking bad to be honest. That's actually quite attractive. It's actually quite attractive indeed. That's about a one mil loot. Very nice. I have an erect. Right, let's slap everything for sale. Should we clean it as well? I feel like I should. Oh, I can clean it, haven't I? Oh yeah, I did a bunch of herb law training, didn't I? I can clean anything now. No, not content. Oh, look at that, 24 extra and ours. Miscellanea paying off right now, big time. I mean, we did have about 300k in there. Lost, I think, maybe three, 400k since we last topped the coffers up. So, you know, it does cost us money, but it's so fucking worth. 300k for a 1.1 mil loot, I think it said. Like, that's perfectly acceptable. Should I be cleaning the Haralambas? Do they matter? Probably not. All the taramans. We even got an extra bird's nest there. Seed nest and a shit ton of mahogany. Let's just get 625 of them. I'm not going to need more than 100. I'll set my X value straight back to 4. Okay, let's whack all this shit up. I honestly fucking hate these new buttons. Whoa, look at all that money. I'm just going to do some chiseling while I'm stood here at the bank, I think, before going on to the Varrock stuff. Oh, and I need to buy a soft clay as well, so let's just get an offer in for that. I'll just buy a couple in case I ever need them in future for something random. Great start. I suppose that's the bonus of taking a few days off as miscellaneous stacks up, but completely unintended there. Obviously, much rather be playing and enjoying the account. Fuck, where are my rubies? So I can stop whenever I get 54. We do need 55 overall, but I'm not worried about it right now. So, like, that's just for the final quest to unlock tombs. So it's a while down the line still. We might be able to afford a brim, you know. It's looking good. I saw our cash stack was like 4.3 mil then, and we haven't sold these rubies yet. So I want to just get them out of the way so I can see what it looks like. About 60 left to cut. Two more invents. Plus one. Two invents plus one ruby. There it is. Excellent combo of a 5 mil! Oh, it's beautiful! We've even got pocket change left. They've gone up. What the fuck? What the fuck? We're gonna put it in and see what happens. They've gone up a lot in the past two d fucking days. That has actually made me very upset. I was so, such a high then! <laughs> We were about to pop off, and then we went from popping off to... What the chuff? Give me a stamina potion. Give me some spoiness. Do I need some runes? Probably want some runes, don't I? Lumberyard teleport. Bang. Oh, I've got some Alanders. Bish bash bosh. Right, okay, where are we starting here? I buy a newspaper. I'm a bit deflated about that. I'm gonna have to... I don't just want to, like, chuck five mil straight on a brimstone, though. I want to go and have a look when I'm not on the clock at what the hell's been happening to the price of them. And if this is an unusual spike, or if they have just been trending slowly up to this since I last checked. Because they were about 4.2 mil when I last looked. I don't even know if I'm doing these in an optimal order. I kind of just have to assume I am, because it would tell me an optimal order, you'd hope. Every time something comes through the Grand Exchange, I'm like, <gasps> Squirrel! Uh, by plank. We're also meant to do mahogany's 
bought 20 of them, so I guess we'll do that a different time, that makes sense. Earth rune, bomb, mine, iron, south. Actually, I think I'm gonna go PvP arena, because we need to hop that fence as well. Maybe that wasn't the best place to go. Should've probably just got Chronicle, to be honest, but I didn't have it on me. Can you only hop this from one side? Why do I feel like that's a thing? Well, if it is, we got the right side. Just got Barb Village, which we can go Edgeville with this glory. Almost done with this first one. I have to buy a few more things for the medium, I imagine. I just thought it'd be easier to get through it and then go back to the G. Okay. So we're making an unfired bowl, and I think we make a full bowl straight after. Then I guess we'll just go make, uh, buy all the stuff we need for this. Cool. That is all of them. Let's go to the G. Well, also, uh, another nice benefit of this, actually, we'll unlock the Grand Exchange teleport option on our Varrock teleport. Pretty sure that comes from the medium. So that is a super nice benefit to have access to. Just going to bank all the shit that we don't need right now. Because I think I need, like, 20 planks. And do I have a kitten? Shit. I should have gone with a Lumberyard telly. And let's just get all the other shit we need. Uh, which isn't too much. Okay, so we can do the strength potion as well. I don't know if we have a kitten. We've got a full grown Hellcat, so we can get another kitten. So we'll take the Karos as well. I need air runes. Okay, I'm gonna go do this. 20 planks at once. Bang in. Then I'm gonna go do this. Bang in. Then I'm gonna go do this. Oh, can I not do it if I have a cat? I don't really want to shoe my cat. I don't want to build something for it either. Oh, fuck. I guess I'm shooing my cat. Sorry, cat. You... Oh, I'm not gonna need a cat for anything, am I? Surely not. Please tell me. I could have just traded it for some deference, couldn't I? What a fucking idiot. Could have got like 200 deference for that. Well... There we go, we've got a brand new kitten, we chose the colour. Okay, uh, I guess I'll just run through the stronghold security while I'm, like, relatively close. We need the four emotes, we need soul spin, white tree fruit, balloon to travel from Varrock at the agility cost. Okay, that was literally just the ones here. Soul spin is going to be the longest of those, but it's not too long of a quest, there's just some annoying parts to it that can take a while. But we can port through here. I think we did most of it, right? Maybe it was just the last floor we didn't do? Or was it this one that I died on? No, I got through here. I must have come back. God, it was so long ago. This It was day one. That was the last time we were here. That's actually crazy. Okay, it's still letting me go through. So I think I must have got this tier as well. Yeah. Now the real question is, do I have Authenticator? Oh, Posty Pete? Bang, talk to me. Short hair, green dress, green long sleeves. Green dress. Short blonde hair. Put me up, please. I don't even know what we could get here, but it could be nice, I think. Maybe some gems or something. I don't know, maybe there's something. Oh, two whole rubies. Look at us go. Not going to be able to port that, are we? I'm probably not going a good way here. I don't know this floor very well. Oh, I swear to God, do not start asking me questions. Don't, don't ask me personal questions. Oh, I thought I was there, but I'm not. See, I'm hoping the Authenticator is Jagex account based, because I have a Jagex account. So, I'm just hoping that it's the same as my main account. That's basically what we're praying on here. Uh, otherwise, I think I'm a bit fucked. Or is that a different one that you need the fancier boots for? Is that something else I'm thinking of? Maybe it's the hard or something. Nice, got the fancy boots. Okay, you see emotes. Boom. Done. Right, we're gonna go reset and then do Soulsbane real quick. Oh, I should just do the others first, right, and then I can finish on Soulsbane. That makes more sense. I'll leave Varrock in a balloon. So I have to start on Intranada. Light through and a rooftop lance. Uh, I'm not sure if we can wear the spot your cape, so I'm just gonna take it off. And we're gonna bank anything that's threatening. Get a bit of energy. We need to get back to Drainer now, don't we? So we need a new glory. Okay, and we'll get a wealth as well, just in case. I don't know what for, but just in case. <laughs> Willow logs. Normal logs. Okay, Varrock. I think I'm actually just going to pick a full invent of these. It'll only take a few seconds and it's well worth it. For those who don't know, the white tree fruit is the same as the strange fruit, as far as I know. 
which is 30 uh, run energy, and assuming it's entirely the same as the strange fruit, it would also cure poison or venom. Take venom down to poison at least. So, or maybe it's not, maybe it's different. Uh, anyway, it does something. I'll tell you that much. Oh no, it's 5 to 10% run energy and 3 health. It's a more accessible. Oh, I could have used the shortcut. They made it so you don't need the diary to use the shortcut anymore. Man, I'm so behind on everything. Why am I running over here? In trauma. Fucking hell, my mind. Maybe I came back too early. There's just so much to do. I forgot to do the rooftop course as well. Oh, hang on. I want the root. Root. Show me the... Oh, was it not here? Please tell me. Castle walls. Castle... Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Balloon. There we go. That's what I wanted. We made it! And now we just need to fly somewhere from here, right? Oh, we had a fire making level. Cross to Tavoli. Isn't that nice? Alright, let's get that back up now, Varrock Medium. Why are these all fucking. I need to do the lap still as well. Let me do that. And then it's Soul Spare, I think that's it. Don't know if we'll be able to crack it out today, but we'll see. It'll be close if not. In fact, I'm gonna claim my easy reward at the end of this. Simply in case we don't get time because then I can nip over to Zaf Staffs and get my daily 15 or whatever from the easy diary because uh, even with both of them we'd only get like 30 a day or something so it wouldn't quite be as many as we need to finish off our I can't tell if we actually did that last Varrock one flying out I want to double check it use the balloon to drop yeah we just need to complete a lap and tall the dungeon okay so we go over here and talk to Toby He's going to give us a lovely reward. And we'll put this on agility and grab a level for our trouble. All the way up to 50. Isn't that a nice round number? Claim my staffs from Zaf. 15 of them. Thank you very much. And then we will nip to the Ferox Bank for a reset before going to do this. Theoretically, it could be very quick. It kind of depends on luck. This fear room, the confusion room is a bit slow. Probably just want melee gear. Make sure I'm still getting melee stats. I need to know what's going on with that brimstone ring. It's annoying me that I don't have one right now. I feel like I should. It's not like I need one for this quest. It's just, it feels like an inefficiency to me. <laughs> and a little bit of food, but we really don't need much. Maybe a little more. Okay, so we start off with, we start off by going straight there. Thought we had to go talk to the woman in Varrock, but no, she's just over here. Then it's a cutscene of Varrock, I think. Oh, I've got potions. What an idiot. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, I don't know if praying is actually doing anything, because I'm not getting XP drops anyway, so I can't tell. So now you have to go back to the rack every time. There's two bears though, so let's get a spear. Okay, go battle axe next to the goblins. Is there just one? Two unicorns now. Oh, I thought that was going to be enough. Looks sake, this is so slow. Yeah, I can't see, I can't see us finishing this quest today. I'll probably duck out. I didn't make a dueling ring, but I'll probably duck out around three four minutes left okay now we get to move on wow this one could be bad it's all down to rng pray for me here y'all i'm gonna go in a clockwise direction got our first one we do need to have our weapons on do not have potions or prayer because i used it all on those fucking bears okay i don't know if it can be the same one again but I don't think I've ever seen it be, but I don't want to risk it not being. Oh, here's another. It's very easy to kill. The confusion room's going to be annoying as well. I hate that room. I feel like I've been running around, like, constantly, so I'm going to go backwards this time. And it's probably going to take me all the way around to the other side. Yep. One time I should have gone forwards. Literally all the way around. 
I'm f I fucking hate this game sometimes. But that will never stop me from being hopelessly addicted, will it? Moving on to another cutscene. The fact that this room isn't multi combat is the worst design decision in the entirety of old school RuneScape. Why the fuck did I just leave? Did I skip out of the cutscene somehow? What the fuck? What is going on? Apparently you're not meant to click on the floor during this cutscene. Good RNG? How oh, do you have ranged? I forgot they had ranged. What, like, what are you supposed to do? I don't, I don't get it. It's so dumb. It's the dumbest room ever. Why is it gonna die? It says it takes eight hit. Oh, okay, so they do just die regardless. Okay, I don't think I've ever actually known that before, that they die regardless of taking damage. Which means that bringing a two hit weapon was actually a lucky galaxy brain of me. I wonder what a Venator bow would do here. Oh, it's not multi, is it? So it just won't work. Let me see if I can just trap this one. Hit the one. Nope. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? First one. Nice. I think we're almost there. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we'll get through the next room in time. The hopelessness. It takes a while. We don't have potions. If we had push more potions and prayer, it'd be a lot more of a sure thing. Oh, please tell me I didn't just click out of that and get back. Accent. So this is the same room design as before. Okay, dang quick at least. I'll have my prayer on for as long as I can. I feel like this cutscene at the end is gonna screw us out of a birdhouse run. Wait, do we actually oh we actually have to have a final fight as well. Continue through the exit. I might just teleport out after killing this. Cause I'm not sure if it saves you progress on these, but if I've got through them all, it should have, you'd think. Oh, it's got strain too. Shall I just exit? Okay. Right, let's see if we can just crack out a tiny little birdhouse run real quick. See how rapid that reset was? That was like some Formula 1 pit stop shit. Surely we got this. Easy. Easy! That's why. I'm the fucking king. That's why I came back today. That's why I knew I was ready. Let's fucking go. I actually got the bird houses done. Why is it? There's already a dead bird in there. I literally just... I just re... There's already a dead bird in there? What the fuck? The fuck? Well, folks. I'm not gonna lie, our experience tab probably doesn't exist today. 35k. Pretty much non-existent. We got two... 0.7 a jill and it's just little bits and pieces. We did get 12k crafting actually, 7k in hunter and three and a half in strength just from hitting random stuff in that dungeon. So little bits and pieces but nothing substantial. We did however complete the Varrock easy diary and the Varrock medium almost. We literally just have to kill the final boss which is very 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 easy and then go and turn it in which is nice that'll be an extra 5k agility to claim tomorrow from that along with more staffs from zaf which we can now make into water battle staffs which will alk for 9300 each be very nice cash indeed to add to our growing stack now we do have that offer on for a brimstone i think it was about 4.3 mil if it buys fantastic i'm happy to pay that price for it if not, I'll be looking into the price in my downtime. I pretty much like as I finish, I'm going to go look it up because I'm really curious what's happened to that, why it's gone up so much in the past few days. And if it looks like it might go back down or if it, it seems like it's rising and possibly even going higher and I should get one for just bite the bullet and pay the full price for it. Figure all that out before tomorrow's episode. Hopefully tomorrow we should have another episode, no problem. I still feel pretty decent after sitting here for an hour and recording this you know i'm not like completely out of energy so i should be able to get this edited and up for y'all in the same day and then carry on as usual from here i think y'all but yeah no it's been a bit weird recently a bit slow content wise on the channel obviously like i said i've been ill but thanks for sticking with me again and another thing i never shout out that i should because there's a few people in there now is i actually have a discord server so if you want to join a sort of 
a very small community of fans and RuneScape players. There's only like five or six of us in there, but we have conversations now and then, you know, if you ever need to ask a question, some advice, or if you've just got a big item drop and you're excited about it, it's always nice to see people showing each other some hype over the drops. Yeah, feel free to join the Discord group. There is a, a link in the description of the video. It's in every video. I just never actually mention it for some reason, but I thought I would today. And hit that like button, of course, as well as leaving a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts on this whole brimstone situation are. Because I am stuck between a brim and a stone. Yeah, okay, maybe I'm not ready to come back. Hit that subscribe button too if you haven't already. Thank you to the, the growing family. I love to see you each and every day. It's wonderful. Right, enough blabbering. I've forgotten what I'm even doing at this stage. Logging off, that's what I'm doing. Stay beautiful. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.